Every night I come out here and help you figure out how to navigate your way through the stock market and identify opportunities in publicly traded companies. But occasionally there's a privately held company that's doing something so unique, so innovative, so downright cool, frankly, that I feel you absolutely need to know about it. Which brings me to Bionics Medical Technologies, a maker of battery-powered prosthetic lower limbs that basically let amputees walk nearly as well as if they still had both of their legs, thanks to what I can only describe as a bionic ankle. Whoever built the $6 million man has nothing on these guys. Just take a look. See why I had to have this company on. Isn't that incredible? So far, 1,100 people have been set up with the company's bionic ankle device, and the reviews have been outstanding. This technology could be a game changer for so many people, especially veterans. Now, earlier, I got a chance to speak with Dr. Charles Carignan. He's the CEO of Bionics Medical Technologies. Take a look. Doctor, I don't think people realize how revolutionary the Bionics product is. Can you tell us the challenge of prosthetic limbs and what this does differently? Sure, so the challenge today is that most prosthetic limbs are passive in nature, meaning that the person needs to use their own body to move their leg forward, their muscles, their low back, etc. They get tired quickly and they have a lot of pain issues associated with that. So with this technology, we can overcome all of those, those issues. All right, well, Judy, tell me how it's changed your life because you have an amazing story and it seems like that this has brought you back to where you were before your accident. Oh, yeah. 42 years ago, motorcycle hit by a drunk driver in Germany. Prosthetics were horrendous. Wood leg, satch, rubber foot, no function whatsoever. And then today with this, bionics, uh, gyroscopes in the knee, powered ankles. It's, it's changed my so life. So are you back to where you were almost? Can you do some of the things that you were able to do? Yeah, it's given back my lower part of my leg that's missing. All right, now how does it work? Because obviously uh, it's not, it's a smart machine. So give us how it's controlled, what you do. I noticed you've got a device there. How does things work? Sure, so it's essentially like a wearable robot. So it does two main things. It moves at the ankle, so just like our human ankle moves. And as you walk, it sensors how fast you're walking, um, the speed if you're going up and down stairs, and then it pushes off. We use a Bluetooth connected tablet to actually set parameters based on an individual patient, their weight, okay. their, their speed that they typically walk at. And then we can record all that and give them really perfect adjustments to match their biologic leg. Now, how big is this market? How many people uh, have this? And also, please talk about the veterans, because uh, obviously this can return someone uh, to, a, well, no one's whole after they've had this tragic accident, but it makes it be able to do a lot more in their lives. Sure. So there are about two and a half million amputees in the U.S. at varying functions. So it's okay. quite a large population. About 175,000 prosthetic legs, though, are made every year for people either to replace existing legs or new amputees. And these are the, the so-called dumb prosthetics? Most of those are the dumb prosthetics. Okay. Um, we now have about 1,200 patients in the U.S. that are walking on the biome, so it's a very small part of this very large market. The, the VA uh, does a good job, and is the VA saying, listen, this is a test and we're going to give everybody uh, this, or are they sticking with the, the old-fashioned? Yeah, the great news is that the VA is very supportive of this technology. They reimburse it very well. Most veterans um, have access to the biome, and we have a number of young soldiers that came through Walter Reed when they returned back to the U.S., all who were given bionic ankles. So, so Judy, what's been your experience telling other people about this? Well, I work with the VA. I work, I'm a mentor at the Boston VA, and mm -hmm. I just, I can't say enough good about it. It's given me back my life almost to what it was before. So people can uh, climb mountains who weren't able to climb mountains? I mean, what are some of the activities that you see people do that, that they thought could never happen? 
Yeah, I mean, we have people at all levels. We have people climbing and running up, you know, rocky slopes. We have people golfing. We have um, some of our patients who are bilateral amputees have jobs where they're carrying heavy weights and they're going across. Uh, we recently had one of our uh, one of our patients run out the game ball for a 49ers game, ran 50 <laughs> yards onto the field, bilateral amputee, running out carrying a game ball. Well, this is quite an extraordinary development, and I, I congratulate what you've done and, and how you've been able to tell the story. I want to thank Dr. Charles Corrigan. He's the CEO of Bionics, and Judy Gray, an amputee peer advisor with Veterans Affairs, with frankly just a great story. Stay with Kramer. Booyah! Jim Kramer here from Mad Money. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube. Click here to subscribe and get the jump on my exclusives with CEOs, plus market news, investing advice, and a whole lot more.